and welcome back to another video! Alright, I don't think I really started Kid Trip. I think I did a little bit, but I don't think I got past the first level. I think I basically got first impressions of it. Um, let me just start this. Yeah, there we go. So flying the plane, it blows up, we crash. I got one away from the bad guys. Good trip. Oh, wait, one free. Okay. That's free. I could start again. Oh, no. What if I do that? You see, I, I, I delete, I basically like, I think, did I delete or did I store it in the cloud? I don't know, but I uninstalled it from my Switch. Oh, I did it again! I am a dingus. Challenges, oh, challenges, records, options, tutorial, and credits. Okay, so I can't delete it. Oh, wait, yeah, new game. Continue. It's only on World 1 3, so 1 1. So you can. Yeah. Walk up against the wall. That's nice now. My other lives aren't too big of a problem, and there's not like if I lose all my lives, I can't just... Oh, I can jump on enemies, yay! Up. Oh. That was a pathetic screen. I missed up one coin. Yep. Oh! I kamikaze the monkey. I don't know, I killed it just as it was uh, thrown in the coconut, meaning that we both killed each other. I'm gonna go with Kamikaze, just so I don't take any risks. Okay, so you can bounce off the water once, but then you die. There you go, one up. Nope. Okay, so... There's bleeding monkey man. Oh! I have weapons! Aha! This is going to make the game infinitely easier. Apart from that bed. I can slow down, but it's not too helpful because you can't stop. You can't speed up stream. Oh, you literally just play with the ZL and ZR because ZL throws a stone and ZR jumps. I didn't even jump off the water that time. What do I have to jump onto that tiny effing platform? Seriously. Continue. 
Uh, and you, you lose all your coins. And because I didn't get past World 1-1 one, one before the game, whatever, I don't know if, it, if there's any other penalties. Do they have to pull that tiny bleeding little platform there? And that's the type of plat platform you have to do to get to a bonus, not something you have to do to get past the bleeding game. Come on! Especially there, when I landed on that platform there, I was mashing A as fast as I could and I still couldn't even jump off it before it moved. Like, it's fine having it small platforms in a platformer, as long as you're not forcing your user to move. Uh, if, you're, if you're putting the tiny platforms when you're literally... I don't even like talking in all this world, like forced and being forced to go forward. Oh, like no matter what I do, I have to go forward. I can sort of do it by holding back. is not and oh, why did I help uh, that one was my own fault Finally. And I die. There we go. Oh, come on, I can't even. Ah. 
Oh, come on. Oh, well, that was all the night. I guess that is my fault. Oh, that was good. Oh, come on. How was I supposed to jump there? The monkey would have killed me if I had jumped. Seriously. I literally have to kill the monkey there, or am I gonna. And then, uh, if I don't, I'm gonna die. Because that's bullshit. In the first episode, I'm back to where I was. What? That? Oh no, what? Okay. I think I know what I need to do. Nope. Yep. Yep. Oh wow. I hope this is like um, midway through the game because this is some drastic like um, difficulty curve. Jesus Christ! Oh my god. How are you supposed to land? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I Oh my... What? How was I supposed to... The 
This reminds me of um stuff uh in Minecraft there's these like story things, um like mod packs for um that you can get like um to the core and project ozone and um stuff like that. Like Duncan's done a lot of stuff Yogatas Duncan has done a lot of stuff like that on his channel. Um, a lot of them, some of them on this channel, and um, yep. this reminds me a lot of them because um, with them, to usually to make it to make the game more difficult, instead of actually adding challenges, they usually just like cripple you. Like um, I remember in Blast Off, um, the Batania flowers would uh, um, self destruct. Um, after a certain amount of time, um, basic and the, 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 uh, if you don't know what that means, basically it'd be like me telling you to run and for me to you, uh, but uh, before I before I let you run, I shot your both of your legs so you uh, couldn't even walk. And this reminds me of all of that. This game is asking me to platform, but it's giving me very limited options to actually platform. So it's kind of like that. It's kind of like me asking you to run, but before I ask, before I yeah, let you run, I shoot both of your legs so you can't even walk. So it's sort of like artificial challenge. Instead of making challenging levels that chal you know use your skill, um, he's just shoot you know, the game developers just shooting the, both of your legs and asking you to run instead. Well, this doesn't mean that a game like that can't be fun and entertaining. I'm just saying that's lazy level design because you shouldn't need to make a game difficult or challenging. You shouldn't need to limit the player to make it difficult or challenging. Like um, Banjo Kazooie, it's not uh, the Gruntilda challenge isn't uh, battle isn't challenging uh, because um, they took away all my. Or take away all your power up, so you have to do it with just like the moves that you start off as you use at the beginning of the game, um, like right at the very beginning of the game, like a spiral mountain. It's challenging because you have to use all of the, your moves that you've learned so far to uh, beat Gruntilda. Um, instead of, you know, like I said, the game developers. Limiting you. And typically with me, if a game limits me, then I'm less happy because I don't like being limited. Limited. I like being free to like do whatever, and that's why I love Mario Odyssey. Um, and I've played so much of Minecraft because both of them, those games basically give you the freedom to uh, go about anything how you want, like Oh, I've run out of iron in Minecraft! That I could either go, find a, go out and find a cave and um, go splunking or I could start a strip mine and uh, get, and uh, hope I stumble on some iron and probably find a bunch of diamonds and um, gold and redstone while I'm at it um, or build an iron farm! Like. For that one problem, I've just listed them off multiple solutions. Um, where and in Mario Odyssey, um, there's multiple ways to get to past the challenge here, um, and that can be, and that's nowhere more obvious than in the speed ones for the game. Well, where for the speed one in this? Like, th th there's no creativity of like, oh, there's a hole, you know, there's a there's an enemy there. I I only have one. I can either do one do one or two things. I have one try and kill it, or two just avoid its project, uh, avoid it. And it does. And the even end. And then you go. Okay, so I'm going to kill it. How am I going to do that? Uh, I tr I jump and I throw a rock. Uh, Minecraft. Uh, you know you can go multiple ways around to, like killing each one. Like. Um, Especially in Java, because um, it has combat updates where um, you can have like uh, um, you can use a sword um, and a uh, bow, so you have range and um, melee, or you can go 
like sword and shield or axe and shield, and um, that's pure melee. Um, but the, the shield will protect you from uh, projectiles, and um, you can go with sword or axe because the axe, while it has slower recharge time, it does more damage, and um, the sword has sweeping edge, which uh, um, does damage to multiple mobs. So, even in Minecraft, you have multiple ways of you know dealing with an encounter. And that's just a few that I've listed off the top of my head. That, that like, um, there's a bunch more. Like you can have potions, you can have um, in your off hand uh, with like say a sword or something in your uh, main hand, and um, that way you can like heal or do damage uh, to the mobs. Um, and uh, then you have like creepers where you don't want to go in uh, swinging. Now like, you could uh, lay a blow up um, and just use the shield uh, to absorb the damage. Or, um, you could try and kill it skillfully. Ah. And say this was a Mario Maker level. Um, in Mario Maker, I would, uh, uh, or any Mario get 2D Mario game really, I would have the freedom to move left and right to um, add to my own pace for the most part, where unless you like talking about the original Mario Bros, where you can go um, off. Uh, you can move the screen right, but you can still move left and right. Now, in those games, I have the freedom to... Freedom to, um... You know, choose when I want to jump. Where in this... I don't have that freedom, and... Uh, um, I'm not messing up now because... Um, my poor decision making is like, oh, I'll just like do this and this. It's like, no, uh, it's forcing me into a situation that I have to think really fast just to be able to survive. And then I'm just going to die five seconds later anyway. And it's stuff like that where, um, oh, so close. Well, um, with those little pla free moving platforms there, it's mostly look whether or not I um, make my way over it. And a little bit of memorization is involved as well. Ah, oh, and that tiny platform. I hate these tiny bully platforms. Finally did it. So in one episode, I've got in the past the three worlds. Yeah, um, I set a timer for one and a half hours, so that when that one and a half hours is up, he'll um, go off and tell me that it's time to stop recording now and um, we'll move on to the next thing to record. Because one and a half hours is uh, three thirty hour uh, three. Where am I? I don't know. Uh, it's three what, uh, half hour episodes, and that should be enough to fill the entire month. month. I may have, made a, may have made a mistake, because I think I might have also counted um, the weeks that I'm not recording anything as well. Um, so I might have to double check my maths there, and if so, then I can either just like, save this for next month or. Um, upload it. Um, I can upload it when, uh, when uh, on the Monday or Tuesday or Thursday. Oh, I fell into a hole. Yes, continue. 
come on. all the pills in because um, if I don't then like half an hour of video recording will be like condensed down to like five minutes and then it would mean that I would have to like record, in, record for literally 24 hours to get a video of decent length. Do I keep on falling off there? I'm holding back, so like, what's the problem here? There's had to come. Oh, seriously, why did I fall? Yeah. Seriously, what the heck? Uh, I'm landing and then I'm jumping and then I'm landing as and then I'm jumping as soon as I can land. And it's still not enough. What the fuck? What the fuck? If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and uh, if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that to subscribe and uh, the ring and ding uh, that uh, notification bell. Otherwise, YouTube won't uh, notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.